Hello everybody and welcome back to Autobox Plays Dark Souls 3. Oh, sorry. Hello, there we go. Anyway, um, if you notice, Mustard Booty's face looks like beef jerky. Uh, she's a walking meat raisin now. And basically what happened was I killed myself many, many times. Uh, if you notice, we actually have 28 hollowing um, right under the level. Yeah, and the reason is is that you need to have, I think, 25? Oh, all the way I would do Ed. to Enchanted have him draw Aaron. out your strength five times. I've basically just been pumping it into endurance, so you aren't missing out ah, too much. You have attained ample strength. All will soon be clear, my good lord. Ah, oh. Okay. Be safe. So basically, once. Oh, hey, great rat. I'll explain after we get done talking to him. Ah, there you are. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Sure, Thank go and pillage. You. you will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> Alrighty. Grey Rat and... <laughs> All. Okay. So basically, um, the thing we did with Yol is uh, in order to activate the... Uh... uh... See. We travel somewhere, then we should be able to trigger it. Um, while we're actually doing that, let us travel back to. Actually, wait, sorry. I wanted to see if we can burn any more undead bone shards. Do we have any more? No, we don't. Anyway, um, let us travel back to the dilapidated bridge and use the sewer key that we just got from the handmaiden. And by the time we get done with uh, whatever it is we're doing, we're doing out here, then Yul's part should be more or less complete. Let's chuck fireballs down here. Cool. Lovely. Back to the other sword. Bam. Alright, well this is this door that opens from the grave key. So let's roll down. And... Let's switch back to our axe. Forgot we actually swapped out. There we go. And here is actually... Blowing cloth and a shrine to Valka. Um, it's, a, it's, it's something to do with sand knife. I have no idea how it would actually work because I hardly ever come back down here. Once I get done um, rescuing the other NPC that was in here. Or the Skull Bros. Uh... Okay... Uh. <laughs> well, that was lucky. We actually didn't get hits from any of that. Sweet! Alright. Let's just run around and make our way down this way. More Skull Bros are obviously going to be coming. Cool. Bam. Out of that. Good old 1, 2, 3 combo. So this actually leads us down to... Bam. 
Knocked away. E, come on. Dang it, you missed. Okay, I was wondering when that would happen. Let's just run away. Run away. Run away from the pain. Run. Okay, here are where some rats should be. Do. Let's just not even worry about this. Um, bum, 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 bum. We got a shine. Pink talisman and it's run. No, 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 no. Yay, we made it. Lovely. Anyway, let us talk to this chick. Hello. Who is that? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. At least let me buy you dinner first, jeez. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Yeah, she's so kinky. Little creatures. They never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Sure. Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Yay! Alright, that chick actually sells miracles. Uh, we just have to bring her Braille tomes, because she's blind. You've gone and rescued her, have you? How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> Excuse me about that. Yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> wow, what a dick. He has standard Dark Souls NPC uh, syndrome where everyone's just a dick. No, oh, I didn't mean to. Well, oh, fuck. Okay. Guess we wait. Anyway, we're gonna go see Onion Knight and take out that little demon that's up there. Sigward. Mm. Mm. Ah, oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me squared in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> On some days, I begin to doubt myself. 
I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? That uh, humongous what? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Yeah, we're gonna go swip swipe that dude. Let's see, is there anything else we can grab over here? Guess not. No! You should have waited! Alright, let's do this. Well, it's too late now. I speak word of the Knights of Catalina, right by your side! Oh shit. I can't even see it all. Fire jam, neato. <sighs> that was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Room. <laughs> oh, oops. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> okay. Well, he's asleep. I swear, Sigurd reminds me of like. There's no real point to breaking these things, but I actually just like doing it. Okay. Um, either, there are a few items in this area. A large club, sweet. Let's actually see what it, how it looks. Large club. Can't actually use it. We don't have enough strength for that. That's fine. Never mind. Guess we're not gonna use it. Uh, we're probably not gonna be improving our strength any higher because we are going for a pyromancer build. So strength is unnecessary for this particular build. Not entirely for anything else though. Actually, my first playthrough was a strength build, but that's neither here nor there. So let's not worry about that. Got a pale tongue and. And northern armor and stuff. Cool. Go in here. That up. Alright, dope. simple and we should have enough fire on the magic or mana to cast one more time ow the range of this thing is so freaking short cool right, let's do it doggo Correct. 
I think I know all these come down. Chug a chug chug. They only come down when you actually open the chest, so we shouldn't worry about it too much right now. And one more. We can actually pick this up without having to worry. Some fading souls. And we got two witch ladies over here. It's just gonna be us chucking fireballs at this chick. Eek! Ugh! No. I'm not gonna get hit by that. Ow! <laughs> that was painful. Pull away. And we'll pop an ember. So that would be tricky. Fine. Ow. Yay, all right, you're dead. That would have sucked if we died. Pick up the evangelist hat. And I don't think there's anything else in this area. Yep, there isn't. Let's go up to the roof. A rough. And there is something over here. Let's pick this up. It's Flynn's ring. And I think that's all this area. It's all she wrote, boys. Or girls. And girls. Oh, that would have been embarrassing if we fell off of that. Okay. And we fall here. And a homeward bone. Well, two of them, in fact. And in this area, now it's just a matter of actually just hip hopping down. Lovely. And in here, we should get the Mira vest, gloves, and trouser. And I think we also get the chlor. Yeah, there it is. The or the ring. This actually is a very, very awesome ring because it does give us memory regen. So that's sweet. And let's actually take a look at the armor we got. Here. Let's take let's put on that dope hat we got too. Okay, roll seems fine. Eat. And we look somewhat normal. But whatever does that mean, right? Okay. Well, there's not really too much reason to be in this area, so let's in fact just homeward bone out of here. So let's go back to the shrine bonfire. this is a good opportunity to actually take a look over here. And you'll see Yul is dead. R.I.P. But there is this person here. Hello. Oh, prithee. Art thou good Yul's master? I am Yuria of Londor, a close friend of his. Thanks to thee, Yul's soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Another matter. That a lord art thou not? Bearer of the dark sigil. And our lord of hollows. For the time thou remainst our lord. 
We of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. Sweet! Anyway, this is Yuri of Londor. She is integral to actually getting the Dark Lord ending. Or, the Usurper of Flame. That a lord art thou not? Bearer of for the time that- And I- Alrighty. Well, she has all these spells that Yol had. But she also has a few different things, kind of like the rings. So, this is so you don't look like beef jerky when you are hollow, which is pretty much all the time. This takes the appearance of a phantom. This is this is good if you're actually um doing PvP and you don't want to look like an invader. It just turns you white, basically, to make it look like you're friendly. This is a Braille totem, in fact, actually. Um, we could give this to the priest. Or the uh, Irina, yeah, give it to her. But it's a dark tome, and the dark tomes actually are bad for her because it makes her go like insane. I guess we won't give her any of those. So she can keep, she can hold on to that. So I don't feel too bad. Till we meet again, may the dark sigil guide thee. Go. Cool. As you can see, Grey Rat's also gone. But yeah, here she is. Here's Irina. Oh, Champion of Ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them, and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Yay, sweet. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Okay. So yes, she does sell miracles. So if you are have a, a pleasant journey, champion of Ash. I pray for your safety. So if you use miracles, then that's cool for you. Fortunately for us, not too important. Um, I think we might have talked to every NPC in this area, so that's fine. Oh, one thing we almost forgot to do. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. For I am a lord, and this is my throne. We can give him the transposing gilm. Oh, belike it is. A transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. Okay, so basically what he does is he gives us the ability to transpose our boss souls. So, if we wanted to do anything with the extra souls that we procured from killing bosses, then we Welcome can take him to him. Speak. 
let us level up. Um, we'll probably cost us a lot. Oh, hey, not too bad. Um, just put some in endurance. Not too bad about that. Okay. And now, let's see. No, oh, inventory is more or less clean. Okay, well, we did get a good bit of progress done. Um, the next place we actually have to go is to the road below. Oh, excuse me. Road below. Um, like the Forgotten Road or something like that. That'll take us to the swamp. But I think we'll do that in the next video. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like the video, hit the like button, of course. Helps out a great deal, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.